Hello. So because today is Labor Day, aka Vappu in Finnish, uh, in Swedish uh, Vappen. So we say Glada Vappen <laughs> in uh, Swedish to say Happy Vappu. Okay, so that is why I wanted to wear this this party hat. It's like a unicorn hat. <laughs> the colors are similar, so I thought that it, it just it it is a fun add to this video today. So even though I'm being funny, I just want to talk about this serious serious subject uh, about relationships. So if we all communicated you know, in peace to understand each other and, you know, we would stay calm when interacting with others. This would, of course, create a big difference in relationships. So, I believe that, you know, many relationships and friendships fail because there is a lack of communication, respect, honesty, uh, you know, avoiding those difficult subjects, for example, being avoidant. There seem to be many avoidant people in the world overall. And too many narcissistic people, for example, uh, you know, who are just out there to, you know, hurt innocent people and, you know, they don't want to hear or communicate or respect. And I bet that many of these friendships or relationships or <clears throat> what the situation is with that person where there is a conflict or, you know, the communication is not working, there is no respect or honesty normally, no healthy boundaries in place. So if these all were in place, of course, I bet that many relationships would be saved. Many of these situations would be saved and solved. Because, you know, there's no other option if you are, if you really are communicating, you know, honestly and calmly. And don't assume false things and don't misunderstand the other person. So, of course, understanding is a very big, big part of it as well. And I also believe that, you know, troubles with love life issues, troubles with relationships are the most common, you know, of course, along with emotional or physical, psychological abuse, any kind, kind of uh, disrespect and abuse, uh, bullying and all of that, people killing each other. Uh, well, that's all from the devil, of course, but um, anyway. So I'm just, I'm just saying this is just coming to me that, you know, many issues that people have include relationships, especially close relationships. And um, so this is why it's so important to discern who is for you and who is not for you. Because you don't want to go through another painful lesson after you've been through enough and you are a sensitive empath, highly sensitive being. Earth angels are seed, God's chosen one. So of course you have to be, again, protecting your energy and your loved ones and, you know, not making mistakes anymore. Like, I was just reminded about this lesson just right now. Before I started recording this video, I was reminded about this lesson uh, that I should have watched my own back again regarding this one issue. And I would have avoided it. Because, of course, you you value and love yourself and know your your worth and value and treat yourself correctly. Your brain is going to be more on your side as you heal <clears throat> after narcissistic abuse experiences. And you are, you know, healing in every way. And you are fixing your self-talk, your thoughts, 
because you actually can control these things. You can control everything that comes out of you. And you are more powerful as a being than you might think and feel, you know, uh, especially when you've been hurt a lot and too much. It's very difficult to actually believe this or feel it or see it in any way, but it's there. Your power is always, you know, it's always yours. What is yours is yours. And naturally, as you heal after a toxic ex, uh, <clears throat> your narcissistic ex, as you detach and heal and have that space, peace of mind, you are making space for better things to come along. So when we remove those things that are not serving us, we're always creating space where we're telling the universe, we're telling God, we're showing to them that, okay, I'm ready. I'm creating this space for myself to love myself and heal. And I'm also available and open and healed enough to be building something better with somebody. So that is also a powerful signal, you know. And then you are also <clears throat> more sure about what you want. So the more you heal and you have the acknowledgement of yourself and your worth, you love yourself and you know, you're practicing your healthy boundaries, then you are also going to attract a person to you who also has these things. So this is very powerful and important when you want to attract your true love partner into your life, for example. The right kind of people, because your vibration will call them in. Your frequency, your energy, your thoughts, what you believe in. So the more you believe in yourself, you are also attracting more people who also believe in you. You are more able to discern, you know, who is for you and what is for you and what is not for you and who is not who is not for you. For example, if a person is avoidant and they don't want to have those difficult conversations, for example, talk about childhood trauma. Well, it's kind of hard to get to know anybody, especially with your past as a sensitive empath, highly sensitive being. How can you ever get to know them? How, uh, how can they ever get to know you if you don't bear your authentic self to them? And if they don't bear, bear their uh, authentic self to you? So it's impossible to be building an authentic, honest, genuine relationship if these things are not in place. So, something to think about. And I also want to motivate, motivate you to be that example. Be that light who you are. Don't dim your light. Be that authentic, genuine example for others to follow. Be that leader. As empaths and highly sensitive be beings, people, earth angels, star seeds, God's chosen ones, we are natural healers and leaders and you know we have this deep sensitivity this deep emotional world within our brains within ourselves within within our beings but we are also here you know to help and lead so own that so you don't need to be doing what is against your values and if something's not clearly serving you like a person or an apartment or a job or you know whatever it is but it's not serving you it's causing you stress and anxiety so these are red flags that this is something completely wrong that it, this should not even be in your life. So have a better mindset, work on your mindset and know that you deserve the best. So you don't need to be settling. God did not create us here to be settling for things that make us miserable and unhappy and sad and hurt 
anxious, depressed, alone, and scared. Also, you want to be clear on what disrespect represents for you because your boundaries are only about you. So you have to create them your way. You have to create your life your own way. So this is why it's so important to be honest with yourself and know, you, know where you are coming from. So if somebody is intimidated by you and your light, then they are not your person. And yes, majority of people are like this, apparently. And, you know, it's not anything that we have chosen. It's not our issue. It's not our problem to fix. We just have to learn how to cope with these things. And that is why I'm also here to help. And if you need more help right now with detaching from a narcissist in your life, whether it's your parent or ex or whoever, but of course, most of all, I'm here to help with those cl close relationships because they can be the most painful ones. Uh, so if you want help and guidance and support authentically and honestly with love and care, um, from somebody who has also been there and you want to create your life your own way, then don't hesitate to grab my self-help book on Amazon, either the ebook version or the paperback version. Of course, it's, it's your choice which you would like to have and implement it in your life and Yeah, so I was uh, going to say that, you know, it, w it will really help you heal your life, gain clarity, claim, claim and gain empowerment within you to discover your inner power, to connect with your true core self, manifest your dreams come true. It will help with all of this. I believe that, you know, Clarity and healing the first steps when you start taking those first steps when you don't blame yourself anymore When you understand that, that this is the situation that has happened to me That is a big win in itself. Those are the first key crucial steps that you need to take first and then you will really start to move forward